Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now, in this tutorial, we will be looking at how to animate plots, uh, how to animate plots, and uh, how to make a continuous series, continu uh, uh, how to see visualize the data a little more easily. Okay. Now, one thing is that let's one thing is that if you uh, have a lot of data let's say and if they are varying with respect to time or if you want to see how they vary with respect to space or anything or anyway it's like you just want to see how they how they gets modified one time after the one instance after the other it's always nice to look at uh, look at videos or video like representation of the data okay the reason is if you do if you look at if you look at them like that uh, our visual inspection will be so easy for us to understand what exactly is going on we just look at them data just plot them one after the other and if you want to make a if you look at them it may not uh, strike us big but if you look at them in the form of a, con a series of animations it makes sense it makes sense so now this will be really useful for observing the data so how do we do about with that how do we go about with that the idea is actually is to set a loop running between a finite range okay finite range first and then we need to plot the values that we have to that we are going to do in the animation one loop after in in each and every loop and uh, each and every loop and uh, before we start the loop it's yeah, it's better to clean the loop, clean the entry so that we plot it and when we plot another instance of the animation we have to clean it and then in between it's necessary to set it may be necessary to set a pass timer so to, to delay the to it so that we get to we get some enough time to look at the animation so how do you do about with it let's go by this way now if you look at the data over here look at my variable explorer uh, uh, my u v t and al uh, these can be visualized very nicely visualized very nicely and for that we let's animate one of these two for that what i'm going to do okay let me explain the fun uh, let me copy all this i won't run it up uh, i'll just copy all this and uh, okay just for you guys to have a look at what's going on let me run this and watch this check this out not bad huh now this is what i call as plot animation now with which you can clearly see that uh, something is running uh, you can see you can clearly see a video like video like operation going on here okay now this is what i call as plot animation now let me explain what exactly is going on over here okay let me explain the code now i said matplotlib to be qt okay with the magic python magic command so that i python magic so that you know the entire plot comes in a separate window okay and now i set a for loop whose range whose value i range is from 0 to 31 with okay but its i is going to iterate from 0 to 30 okay because of this line and then all these comments will be executed one after the other okay now what will happen is that first i um, uh, will get will have an empty plot like this so if i just if i just type plt.clf check it out if i just type this we'll get an empty plot like this nothing no access no title no data no nothing so it will be just cleaning the entire title okay it will I mean it will just clear out everything in the program and now what we do is that uh, we set u to be we set u to be i mean we set a value set as us just like what we did last time okay for creating for creating uh, uh, divisions uh, for creating divisions in contour plot counter plot and everything okay and then i use this command to plot the values this command to plot the um, sorry this command to plot the values for a particular value of i and now i is 30 so it's not a problem so if you look at the plot it's okay it's been plotted if you look at this it looks okay it looks okay the coloring is not that good but it looks okay as of now and now what I do is that these are just plot enhancement options to create uh, x label, y label, create text on x axis, create text on y axis, create a title, create a super title, get the grids go get the grids present, make the enable the grids, setting the axis to be rigid, set the color bar and this 
matplotlib.rcparams to make sure that we have a solid line okay if I copy all this and uh, run this here oh. okay okay there's an indentation issue okay there's an indentation issue so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to break this indentation up see if there's an indentation issue like this it just shows that uh, there's a compiler that there's something wrong um, set the indentations right okay uh, anything else? no okay now if you look at the plot now the grids are ready, axes are ready and everything is ready now let's make the next line now let's make the next line Paul, copy it and then paste it ready now if you look at the plot now the plot is ready the, th the, the contour line contour just make sure that all the lines are filled and everything. all the lines are darkened or all the loops are darkened so that's it now this is how the plot we this is how we get it now the uh, I, the interesting part of this is that now we have this option ready okay now let me keep the plot as it is now let's say what I do is that here if I just type plt.clf okay press enter look what happens to the plot everything is cleaned everything is clean now if I were to repeat all this entire process again we can do it and that's what we are going to do over here and that's what we did over here for i in range 0 to 31 0 to 31 I'm going to create an empty plot, uh, the clean plot with this command C, plot clf. If the command, if the plot is already uh, made, it's going to clean it up, and then I'm going to create a variable us, and then I'm going to make the counter plot and put all the fancy, all the statement that makes the plot look neat, and then I'm going to set the solids to be set. I mean, set the rc parameter line count, line counter parameter. I'm not sure where that is. I'm going to set the uh, line still to be solid and then I'm going to plot the contour line and then I'm going to pass this entire loop for 0 0.001 second just to pa I mean if you don't pass it sometimes what happens is that it may just clean up everything run everything so quickly plot everything you may not be in a position to visualize it so I'm just intentionally passing it intentionally passing it okay with this pass command this is used for delaying the entire computation process and then it's going and then after first loop it will generate for first loop and then it will go to the second, for the, when it starts the second loop, we're going to clean everything, everything that we done in the previous loop, and we're going to replot everything with the new value of i, that's the same process, wait for some time, and then go to the next loop, that's the same and everything, and that's why we get this array. Now if I were to copy all this, and, oh come on, now if I copy all this, and I print it up over here, watch um, oh it's not done yet okay it's okay sorry it's working the animation is going out nicely now this is how you get a plot animation okay and it works out and it works out nicely and uh, if I set the day if I copy everything do everything if I set the time to be one second let's Okay, I just pressed F1, huh? Okay, not, not bad. Not bad. Uh, so, if I had to have something like this, if I just press F1, it's going to open the documentation for Spider, and then you can also check it out. I didn't know about that. Anyway, now let's go over here, and then if I click pass to be 1.0, one second, okay? One second, if I run this, look at the plot. It's going to change, but the entire thing will repeat after one second. The time gap between any two loops will be one second. So after doing all this, the comp compiler will wait for one second, delay the process for one second, and then does the entire job. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now, one one thing you have to keep in mind is that it's it's always better you do this kind of job in a separate window like this. We do this in the console. The console may not be in a position to animate everything and stuff. 
so it's better you do this kind of plot animation in a separate QT window like this so that will be safe for you that will be kind of safe for you guys and that's it that's it this this, this is over now this is uh, that uh, plot animation over okay now next thing is that you can make a video out of it as well video out of it as well and uh, that we look at in the next tutorial so next tutorial and uh, what I would like to mention here is that not only a one dimension plot you can also make a three dimension plot an animation of three dimension plot as well uh, or a one dimension plot as well in this option okay this this is possible in that way so have a look so you guys have a look and do experiment and this will be very this will be very helpful okay and next tutorial we will see how to make a video out of this anime how to make this entire animation as a video okay now thank you guys for watching the see you guys next tutorial and the next tutorial we'll see how to make a video out of it so thank you